Okay, my lovelies, right. Ten of Swords coming in here as your underlying energy. Well, the worst is over, right? That cycle's complete. That cycle's done. The Ten of Swords, it's... Just look at it. It's brutal, right? It's There's no way to sugarcoat this card. Something awful happened. Something really awful. It can be a betrayal. It can be a deception. Um, but it's happened. We're not walking in on this scene where it's happening. We're not going through this. This is the aftermath now. Um, I always think it's overkill with this. I mean, have a look at it. One sword could have done the job. Ten swords? Now, that could be like really harsh words, really horrible things were said because swords are our thoughts, our beliefs, our ideas and how we communicate them. And yet a new day is dawning behind. That's what we see, a new day. This is rock bottom. This is what rock bottom looks like. And this is where it's like, you know, okay, well, at least I know where, how the situation is. It's ended. It's over. Let's go again. A new cycle is about to begin. In fact, I always see the nines as the completions of the cycles. The 10 is just the outcome of that completion. Like, What did that completion lead to? And it led to this. It led to everything shit being revealed. You're at rock bottom. It's done. But it's done, right? And I, what I love about this is, you know, I'd be more concerned about the 10 of swords coming up as underlying energy if it wasn't for the six of swords coming up with it. So I don't feel like this is something that's happened recently. I feel like it's something that's been closing it's taken a while for that cycle to close. But, you know, that doesn't mean that it was happen it still kept happening. It might have just meant that you were lying there with those 10 swords in you for a while. Because it hurts, right? But at some point, that's the energy of this card. It's about removing the 10 swords and getting, getting up again. And it feels like you're ready to do that. We have the six of swords at the heart of the reading. This is moving on. Moving away from a difficult situation. And by God, is that a difficult situation? So you are moving on from this. May not feel like it as you start this week, and especially if you're looking at this. I don't know why, but I'm getting the sense almost that for some of you, it was as if you'd already gotten over this. It's like, why is this even coming up again? I already dealt with this. I got over this. You know, I was fine with it. But I don't think you had fully, truly moved on from it. You know, sometimes when we're trying to move away from a situation or get over something, what we do is we find something new that gives us hope, but we still have that monkey on our back. It's not like it's gone. We just, we're just distracting ourselves by looking at something else. I'm getting that sense kind of coming in, but this is the true moving on from it. So that's the good news here. And the six of swords, this could be travel. Some of you might be getting over this by traveling, by moving, literally moving. This is the journey card for me, but that can be an emotional journey or it can be um, a literal journey. Like, you know, but it's, in some way we move on now I say this about the six of swords we don't always know and you know what I've just realized Aquarius I think Aquarius got this as the underlying energy and you do have an Aquarius connection and a Taurus Aquarius I've been doing that dance uh, recently but if you have a look at this we see their kind of backs they're moving away from us so we know what they're moving away from we don't know where they're going what's on the horizon nothing really so you may not know where you're headed to but you know what you're leaving behind which is still a great energy now. So there's this kind of very, this sense of moving on, sense of moving forward. This can be closing the distance between ourselves and what we love as well. What's coming up as the past or the foundation here is the star. This could be last week, last month, last year. So that's why I feel like the, the Ten of Swords, it's not new. This is something that happened before. And I think it, in some way, maybe the eclipse has brought it back up. Maybe you interacted with that person, something got dredged up again but you thought you'd gotten over this when I see the star in the past this is I know this is someone who's been um they've been getting by on a wing and a prayer like you know they've just been they have just been it's just the hope that this can't last forever just their faith their hope that's been helping to heal them to move forward so you've had this hope in a new beginning the past but then why would the ten of swords come up again here do you see what i mean i just get that sense that you thought you'd moved on from it but you hadn't because your focus was on the new beginning rather than fully dealing with this but good news is it's being dealt with it's done this is the week that you do truly move on from it you do truly move on for it from it and i said this to scorpio a few weeks ago and you know a lot of people i get a lot of people that say to me i'm already over that I'm already over that, you know, because it'll come up in their reading. And 
the thing is, if you if you can't talk about it, if you don't want to think about it, you're not over it. If it still emotionally like triggers you, it brings something up in you. And I deal with people all the time that say they're over something. They think not wanting to think about it or not sitting in the misery of it is over it. It isn't. It's when you can look back over it or when you can think about it and it doesn't hurt you anymore. That's when you're over it. When it loses its power over you, where you don't feel hatred or, you know, you're forgiven, all parties concerned, you're done. And it can take a while for that to happen. You know, there's no judgment. But okay, so we've got this star Aquarius energy coming up in the past. We have the King of Swords in the present. If this is you guys, and it may very well be, this is where you step into um, your own truth. You understand what all of this has made you. It kind of feels like you've been bouncing between the two, feeling hurt, betrayed, and the hope. Feeling hurt, betrayed, and the hope. But the Six of Swords is very balanced energy. You take away the lessons, right? Some of the swords are going in the boat here. So you take away the lessons from, you've learned what you need to learn from going through this. And you have the King of Swords here. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or this could be you. You're stepping into your truth now. You know what this has done to you. No one's going to do that to you again. You have the knowledge here. The thing of, with the King of Swords is he knows. He knows. What does he know? Well, just about everything. He's the advisor. He's the consultant. He's who we go to you know, because he has all the answers and that's you. Now, the thing is that I would just caution you about is when he comes up, it's great because he's very logical. He always knows what to do. He doesn't, he's, indecision is not a thing that the King of Swords even knows what, you know, he doesn't know that. If that's the only thing he doesn't know. He knows everything else. He can make a decision like that, you know, he always knows the best path to take and he does it without any emotion, but that's just it. He does it without any emotion. So I would say to some of you that, you know, you might have gotten through all of this, but have you cut off from your emotions? Are you coming from a purely logical place? Because it seems safer, it seems easier. And, you know, when we want to understand something, yes, we can understand it at a, at a logical level. But where are the emotions here? Because the only cups card is in the advice. So with the King of Swords coming up here. Standing your truth for sure, I mean, when he comes up, that's his advice to you, is know what you know. Speak from your own truth. That's all you can do. He's not the kind of person that people want to argue with because he will just decimate you with his arguments. He has too much knowledge. He's very articulate in the way that he conveys his ideas. So you may be asked to communicate. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the mic there. You may be asked to communicate something. You may be asked to... Um, explain, you know, what the hell, if you weren't ready to talk about this before, you may be ready to talk about it now. That's when I feel like you truly can move on. I feel like there's something that you need to say, Taurus, to someone, or you need to hear something from someone. It's general, right? It can go both ways. There's this kind of big ending or finality that comes to this. And I don't mean like a, a relationship's ending or a situation's ending. And it can apply to anything. I mean, it feels kind of big. But it feels like with him coming up here, there's a decision or there's a conversation that needs to be had about this, about whatever this was. That's what ends it. And it's like good riddance, like this shit needs to go. It's been lingering around for too long. That hope for a new beginning can only take you so far. That faith can only take you so far. At some point, you need to hear the words. You need to hear what the hell's going on. What happens? And you might need to say that to someone else, Taurus. Someone might, may be waiting for you to just I'm gonna say this and I it's just coming through that way sometimes we need a door slammed in our face before we understand that there's a different door that's waiting for us I don't know who that's for but that you know sometimes we need that door to be slammed in our face and maybe you're the one that needs to slam it maybe it's been slammed and you just you've still been knocking on the door trying to understand why that door got slammed but it happens with the King of Swords, all that understanding happens and then you can move on. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. So Earth energy, that's your energy, Virgo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the thing with the Knight of Pentacles is he's ready to move forward now as well. We have this kind of, this is movement. And this baby step slowly moving away from something, you know, um, he's very cautious because he wants to make sure he doesn't get anything wrong. And you won't, you won't. 
but he's re he's reliable, he's dependable, but it's not the king. It's not the king of pentacles. It's not the queen of pentacles. It's the knight of pentacles. And for me, the knights are always about progress and movement. Even the knight of pentacles, we want to say he's the slowest, right? But he still moves. So I feel like you are moving away from something. You are getting ready to work on something else. That new beginning that you've been hoping for, it's coming in, but it's kind of like, it doesn't come in. It's you go to it. That's what it is. You've not been ready to kind of fully embrace it. And now you are. What happens? What's the advice here? Well, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, it's nostalgia. It's the past, right? Remembering the past. Can be situations or people that return from the past, but, you know, or, you know, it can, more often than not, with the Six of Cups, it's where we're in a situation and it reminds us of something about the past. Now, we look to the past when the Six of Cups comes up and you have the star here. This is where that true hope returns, guys. Because I think this was more, this was more that kind of, um, it was a lifeline. It was what kept you afloat, that hope. You desperately clung to it here. Now it's not, there's no desperation now. You're more kind of open to it. This is more innocent energy. It's the, remembering a time when you were still innocent and it's the return of that innocence. Because I think, especially for a sign like Taurus, to get the Knight of Pentacles, which you guys are the King of Pentacles, right? It is a return to innocence, a re return to relearning something, being open to something. And I'm getting that. I don't know what the hell went down here. And this is some nasty shit that went down. Let's be just be honest. But it's gotten you to who you wanted to be, who you needed to be to get through this. I do feel like there's... Either with yourself, write it in your journal, like say it out loud, decide it for yourself, whatever it is. You may not need to talk to the person, you know, or to, if it's a company or whatever, it's that decision gets made yourself, like that sword comes down and it's like, that's done. I'm done with this. And now you can move forward. And then it's that return of innocence, return of the hope, return of that, whatever the dream was, this is wish fulfillment, right? I mean, this could have been some wish that went wrong. Like you thought you manifested something great and it turned out not to be so great. But I love the Six of Cups here as advice. And it's, it says to you, remember a time when you were truly happy, when you had hope. You know, when was that? Like I said, it could be last week, last month, last year, whenever it was. And use that to go forward because nothing in nature happens just once, right? If you had that hope before, if the shit can happen again and again, and that's a lot of times we fear that the bad stuff will happen again, right? Then why can't the good stuff happen again and again? And it asks you to focus on the happy times, the innocent times, you know, when you were truly happy, because you can create memories like that again for the future. Right, let's get you some oracle cards. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth and importance. I feel like I keep getting this card for a lot of the signs. It can though, guys, right? Like love does make the difference. But love also makes us vulnerable. Like, you know, we don't want to feel vulnerable. That's the whole thing, but it doesn't really. No one can take your love from you. you. You know what your love is. It gives you hope. There is a, Love is always innocent. It's always pure. It's we attach other stuff to it. So I hope that with this Knight of Pentacles, it's a return to what you love. It's a return back to your own energy. It's a return back to innocence of what made you happy once before. And, you know, you can have that kind of happiness again. This one keeps coming up as well. I talk about this in the outro because Sagittarius got it and Aries just got this as well. So the fates, it's like the star card. It's like the star card. And um, uh, a lot of people know this, the serenity prayer, right? That is the explanation for the fates card. And the serenity prayer is like to God, angels, the universe, source spirit, whatever you believe in. Um, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Now for you guys, it feels like you have the wisdom to know the difference. You have the King of Swords in your present. I feel like some of the other signs got, they got this card to discern what they wanted, right? To discern it. But it's almost as if for you guys, that you at that point of discernment, you kind of know now that's the King of Swords. He is this energy. Strong Aquarius vibes coming through for you guys. But, you know, it's that I know what to kind of slam the sword down on and cut out. I know what I need to go for. He knows. That's the whole point. He knows. And you guys know. Now, it's general. So, you know, 
some of you might be dealing with someone who finally knows what they want. All right, let's see. Dearest you, a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Let it. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world in abundance and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. And, you know, that's very telling in your reading because we have the King of Swords fixed energy, right? The kings are the fixed signs, for me anyway. And the knights are the more mutable energy. Mutable, mutable is more changeable. You're not able to go with the changes. Taurus, you're a fixed sign like Aquarius, like Leo, like Scorpio. We are not known for being very easy to change our directions. But it kind of feels like you are becoming more flexible. You are, because we have the king, yes, in the present. And, you know, it's not a bad thing to be fixed or to be stubborn. You know, we bring stability to situations because of that energy. But if you want to change directions, if you want to do something, if you want a return to happiness and things that make you happy, then you must change direction. You have that energy coming in for you. That's why, you know, the fact that the Knight of Pentacles came up here, not the king, that was very telling because it's a shift in your energy. The shift in how you deal with things. But I love it. I love it, guys. I know it starts, this is gruesome, right? You know, this is gruesome. But you're coming out of this. And I don't feel like this is something that happened this week. It's finally you're getting over this. Finally, you understand it. So you can move forward to what makes you happy, to that return of innocence. 